Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to this week's assembly. Wow, you've been busy this week, out and about and doing some fantastic learning in your bubbles. So well done to everybody and some fantastic stuff going on in houses too. Wow, excellent. Loads of cooking, exercising, going out and supporting each other, becoming friends and just generally having fun. So well done. This week, just got a couple of things to let you know. I'm going to give you the birthday list now. And so, happy birthday to Sasha, to Kerry, to Bobby, and to Yvonne. It's their birthdays this week. Hope you have this next week. Hope you have a lovely and superb day. Okay, because we've been talking a lot about books recently, I'm going to share one of my favourite books, and it's called Wisdom for Our Times, and it's by Helen Exley. Okay, and it's a fantastic little book and it just gives little, little poems or little sayings that we call the wisest words. So just have a listen to this. There is no such thing as great talent without great willpower. I was taught that the way of progress is neither swift nor easy. You can have anything you want if you really want it, desperately enough. You must want it with an exuberant that erupts through the skin and joins the energy that created the world. So this week's challenge for you is to come up with your wisest words. If you wanted to say something really special for somebody to really understand what's important to you, what would it be? So prizes for individuals and bubbles that comes up with a short statement or a poem, or a very short story about wisest words. This is my favourite book to share with you this week. On to certificates. Some great performances across all learning groups, bubbles and houses. So student of the week in Hockney went to Lewis. Lewis has had a great week in both house and education. Well done to Lewis. In Roundtree, the award went to Lucas for managing himself well during testing times and completing all of his work to a very high standard. Well done, Lucas, that's fantastic. And in Sheeran, the award went to Harry for some fantastic work completed in class. Harry is really coming out of his shell and was great in accessing outdoor education. Great work, Harry. And in Priestley, the award went to Jacob for showing great maturity, handling his emotions well and completing a huge amount of homework, working towards his GCSE English language, language grade. Well done to Jacob, great to hear. In Hargreaves, the award went to Edward for working incredibly hard and trying new things, including a game of rugby. Wow. And in Adams, the award went to Delonte for attending his lab review in a really positive manner. In Nightingale, the award went to Tyler for working hard to improve his handwriting. Well done to Tyler. And in Clancy, the award went to Luke. Luke has been incredibly brave this week, engaging well while visiting a new environment and also re-engaging with his individualised maths intervention session. I know Chris Holmes was really pleased. Well done, fantastic job, Luke. In Whitaker, the award went to Spencer for building his balloon powered car to test out the different forces acting on it. That's fantastic, well done, Spencer. And in Best, the award went to Charlie for persistently trying and communicating his needs to staff. Well done, Charlie. Student of the Week in Boothroyd, and that went to Leo, that's great to see Leo, for re-engaging with school and accessing education at Boothroyd. Well done to Leo. And also Boothroyd, two awards this week, the award went to Kai. For Kai has engaged fantastically well this week with support staff, tutors and his peers, working hard on maths problems and showing Chrissy just how well he can read. Well done Kai. And finally, House of the Week. House of the Week for some fantastic work such as careers interviews, cooking skills, several boys wanting to move up to silver levels and a couple of boys looking at platinum. 
Staff have also reported how mature some of the boys have gone about their daily routines and overall behaviour has been great, so well done. And now Lewis wanted me to thank Billy for all of his support with his social progress level. So well done to Billy. So those are the awards for this week and everybody gets 10 learning tokens and also um, there'll be some prizes over the next few weeks. Okay, so our tickets will draw five out. And the first one for prizes that will be in reception this next week. First one for Reese Holt, Riley Hall, Jack Schofield, Kai Coleman, and Jack Doyle. Okay, so well done to you boys, and your prizes will be in reception later next week. Well done. So, stay tuned because we have music, drums with Matt, we have Make a Game with Harriet, we have a fantastic magic trick from Magic Allen, and Word of the Week from Miss Wiltshaw. So hopefully I'll see you whilst we're doing Mile of Day next week around the playground, and have a great week boys. Take care. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mrs. Wilshaw's Word of the Week. The Word of the Week last week was reading, and we've been doing so much reading in school recently. It is brilliant to see. We've also just got a load more books in school, which will be delivered to you very soon. So please bear with me, and we'll get you so many new books. I've taken a couple of books home to read this weekend. This is one of them, which I had great expectations for. Yeah, so it was a mum's joke, but it was Mother's Day yesterday, so I'm allowed it. It's essentially, it's an old book, but with new doodles, and I can thoroughly recommend it. It's fantastic. We're going to be reading this one in Priestley this week. Another book I've read this weekend is this one. Now, quite a few of you have borrowed Bright, uh, Bright Storm by Vashti Hardy from me recently. This is the next one on. So this is Wild Spark by Vashti Hardy, and it's all about a world-changing discovery, and it ignites a life-changing adventure. It's about ghosts. It's about machines, it's about technology, inventions, and it's blinking brilliant. So if you'd like to read it, I've got it in the Priestly Classroom. Uh, the word of the week this week for grasshoppers is construct. If you construct something, such as a building, road or machine, you build it or make it. For example, Hammer constructed a castle using the blocks. The Shinobi word of the, day, word of the week this week is habitat. The habitat of an animal or plant is the natural environment in which it normally lives or grows. For example, the bird's habitat was a nest in the tree. Grasshoppers, can you match these words to the definitions? Shinobi ninjas, can you match these words to the definitions? That's all for this week. See you next week in Mrs Wilshaw's Word of the Week. Hi there, hope you've all had another good week. Today we're going to be looking at a little bit of guitar. We're going to be looking at something called the 12 bar blues. Now it's, it sounds a lot harder than it actually is. We're only going to be using two fingers and we're only actually going to be using three strings on the guitar. It's going to sound a little bit like this once we get it all the way through. How do we actually play that? It's all well and good, me just playing it for you, but how do we play it? We're going to keep our first finger, it's always going to be on the second fret. It's going to start off on the second fret on the D string. And we're just going to use our little finger to play the fourth fret on the D string. And the only other string we're going to be playing is the A string. And this is going to be a little bit like this. One, two, one, two. And we're going to do that 16 times. Then we're going to go up, we're going to do it the same passing 16 times on our, D, on our G string, just hitting our open D string. Then we're going to go back, we're going to do it again on our D string. Then we're going to do it 8 times on our A string with our E string. 8 times on our G string. And finish off by doing it 8 times on our D string. 
Now if you have another person that you can play this with, if you remember a few weeks ago we looked at the pentatonic scale and we looked at it specifically in the key of A. That 5, 5, 7, that 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8. Now that pentatonic scale goes perfectly over the 12 bar blues. So if you're ever playing it with somebody else, I definitely recommend giving it a go. It sounds absolutely fantastic and it's super easy to do once you get the hang of it. I'll see you all next week. I hope you have a good one. Morning fellas, this is Steph. Steph's our subject of the day. A um, little bit of card magic this morning. Two jokers. Don't need them for this trick. We'll pop them on one side. What we're going to do is we're going to ask Steph to pick a card. Any card. Any card. Doesn't matter. Happy with? Dragged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll turn around. You can show it to the camera. And then everybody's going to know what it is. Okay. Yeah. Happy with? Excellent. Now, most tricks are done by the magician and a sleight of hand. Today we're going to do it slightly different. Pop the card on top please Steph and cut the cards. Yeah? Cut that. Yeah. Happy with? Yeah. So, so cut the cards again. say to Steph, take 12 cards off the top, or should I say take 11 cards off the top, sorry. 11. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. So, what was your card? Ace of Diamonds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to love a bit of magic. Morning everyone, um, hope you're looking forward to the week ahead. Um, so because it was World Book Day last week, um, I thought today you could describe um, or act out your favourite book uh, that either you really enjoyed reading or you enjoyed someone else reading to you. Um, so you can draw the characters from your book, uh, you could draw the storyline in a comic strip, something like that. Great. Get creative uh, and let me know what you come up with. See you later, everyone. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're all feeling okay today and that you've all had a great weekend. So in today's assembly, we're going to be learning five signs continuing on the theme from last term, months of the year. So last term, we got from January all the way through to July. So today we're going to start on August. So for August, you need your small a or letter A from the Makaton alphabet and a G or a G. August. August. Next up, we've got September. So you need a S or an S and then the letter B or a B. September. September. Then we have October. So we need an O or an O and the letter B. October. October. Then we have November, so we'll need our letter N or N and a B. November. November. And last but not least, the best month of the year, December. So you need a letter D or a D and a B or a B. December. December. Thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you all around school soon. Bye boys, have a really good week.